Hey guys, what's up? It's Pat here from Mountain Sledder. Check it out, model year 23. This is the Lynx Shredder Ari. This is their big, bad, bashing down trails, going off jumps, dropping cliffs. If you wanna be aggressive in your riding, this could be the mountain unit for you. And it's new for model year 2023. So let's just walk over it a little bit. I'll show you guys some of the things uh, about this new model, which has been completely redesigned for 23. And uh, just speak to some of the differences from the 22 Boondocker DS. And uh, what we have now is that RE, which is sort of that especially aggressive package. Let's just start at the front of the sled right here. Um, we've got the, the Blade DS Plus skis. These things are monster. I think they're, uh, you know, seven and a half inches or something like that wide uh, with a big shovel nose. So tons of flotation in these. Uh, one question that I had before riding it was, uh, does a big wide ski like that push you off your side hill? And it doesn't seem to be the case. Um, just lots of good flotation out of these skis. And um, it's the same one that was on the Boondocker DS last year for 2022. And uh, generally I think people quite like this ski. It's robust, it's pretty durable. Um, up front here, we have a 36 inch ski stance. So all the Lynx Shredder ski, uh, models, the DS and the RE have that same 36 inch ski stance. Um, basically the shocks package is gonna be different between those two. Uh, so the RE has the KYB uh, EA3 click adjustment with um, the piggyback reservoir. So uh, it's a really adjustable and robust shock. We've got our uh, three-way clicker for compression damping right here. So soft, medium, and then Andreas Bergmark if you're doing backflips or something like that. Super easy to do. And this, this knob right here doesn't really ice up or anything. It's not like tucked away like on some sleds, you know, it's way back here or whatever and it tends to ice up and it's hard to turn. It's just, boom, it's right there. Uh, taking a look at the front of the sled here, new headlight design, LED headlights. Um, Link says they have the brightest uh, headlights in the segment, the mountain segment. So I think it's like 3,840 lumens, something like that. Uh, we'll just flash it up and you can take a look here. So as you can see, you got your low beams here. These are the top two ones are your low beams. And then high beams fires all three on. So super bright light. And that's part of that finish mentality of uh, being the first one out and the last one home. So when you're riding out at nighttime, you've got some good visibility so you can smash down those trails and those bumps easily. So new glove box, um, the air intake filters have been moved to the top of the sled, so less likely to have damage from sticks on the side as you're riding through the trees. Um, so that's good placement. And from what we've experienced so far, uh, no issues with uh, getting clogged up with snow or anything like that. And then we've got the four and a half inch display on this model uh, with the RE is optional to have the new BRP 10 and a quarter inch color touch screen display. So that actually takes up this entire huge rectangle here. So it's a massive display. We'll show you that on a couple of the other models, the other videos that we have um, about the BRP sleds, the Expert and um, the DS, the Lynx uh, Shredder DS. So you'll see that in those cases. Um, moving back. New this year is an adjustable brake lever. So this brake lever can be moved in, I think it's 15 millimeters or out five millimeters, basically 20 millimeters of adjustability. And uh, it's, it doesn't require tools or anything. You just turn this dial right here and then that lets you adjust how far out it is or how close it is to the handlebar. You can see it's ticking out there a little bit. And the lever's really nice too. Um, just for, for one finger, just to be out there. You can have a really good grip on the bar 
and um, just one finger, or you can actually get two fingers on there if that's how you like to brake. Kind of depends on your preference, but either way, it's just nice little brake lever, no real worries about catching it on a tree, and you just get it right where it's nice and comfortable so that it's always ready. And of course, it's super important to have your brake ready and be using it when you're riding actively in the mountains. Um, so we have the, uh, the uh, metal uh, brake reservoir protector here, shot of course, low handlebars, mountain grab strap. Um, and the grips here are actually, they're fairly thick. Um, they're definitely thicker than the Summit Expert. So that's one thing to be aware of. And then other than that, pretty much standard BRP uh, console area. Um, you've got your hand and thumb warmers, a bunch of different steps that you can do, and then high and low beams. Um, just moving back, compact seat. Uh, the belt has been moved back because there's just no room with the new Radian 2 um, chassis or platform design here. The side panels came in uh, ancient. Basically, uh, it is, I believe, two inches on the left side and roughly one inch on the right side. So overall, three inches narrower than the Boondocker DS platform was. And so when that space disappeared, can't fit the belt there anymore. So now the belt just lives back here at the back of the seat where it's kind of out of the way. Um, new running boards with wider openings. As you can see, nice and wide, not collecting a lot of snow there. And really nice, good grip. These are kind of nice and sharp, but not like too aggressive. And um, they feel nice and rigid. So when you're transferring your weight, you can feel right away that that weight distribution is gonna react, or the sled's gonna react right away with those transfers. There's no sogginess involved. So that's really great. Just moving back. Um, now these link um, attachment thingies come standard on, uh, on all the sleds, which is great because then you're ready to rock with your attachments. You don't need to go spend another $30 or whatever these things used to cost. So that's really great. We've been using those a lot. And um, all these pine needles and stuff, those are free as well. So that's a nice addition for the, from Lynx this year. Um, so short tunnel, we've got a new snow flap for 23. Um, you guys that are familiar with the uh, model 2022 Boondocker DS had that uh, sort of unique snow flap back here. Uh, but ultimately that thing was pretty heavy. It weighed around like three pounds or something like that, I think. So got rid of that and also could drag a little bit and, you know, affect your wheelie performance and stuff like that. Or when you've got that back end in the snow. So anyways, that's gone. Now we got the short tail flap. It's great. Does a great job of cooling, um, gets the job done. Cooler's changed a little bit inside. It's just more of a sort of a circular uh, shape now. The geometry of it's changed. And also, um, I believe the volume of the coolant inside. So basically, anyways, the whole thing is lighter. Uh, it's like a pound lighter dry, and it's three pounds lighter wet, I believe. Something like that, some numbers. Um, so down here, we've got the 15-inch track. So that's sort of a departure from what BRP has done with their other lineup of... Uh, the sleds, the Skidoo sleds, as you know, but uh, Lynx is, you know, they design things their own way. They do it all their own way. They do the design and, and call the shots on these sleds. And so they believe in a 15 inch wide track. That's what this is. And the track has uh, full width rods. So you don't get any of that flexing around the edge of the track. Um, and also the, the rear skid is also fixed. So there's no pivoting or anything like that. Speaking of the rear skid here, so we've got the PPS2 DS Plus. Um, rear suspension. So no torsion arms. Um, we've got two shocks here. You can see the big boy here. This has some adjustability, but being honest with you guys, I don't know how to do it and it's all iced up right now and I can't show you well. And um, we can do preload at least. And I think some sort of compression damping. And then uh, the center shock, you can adjust the preload as well. And um, yeah, basically this, this uh, rear suspension design is just very robust, has a great bottoming resistance. Uh, it's designed for pounding up and down trails and, you know, hard pack and, and all kinds of conditions like that. That's the mentality that they have in Finland where they don't groom trails. They want to have a good, robust, strong and very uh, a rear suspension with a lot of absorptive capability. So, and the, and it is they deliver that. It's it's smooth. The bottoming resistance is really good. 
and uh, it's it works really well. So, in a nutshell, Shredder RE, uh, that's sort of their um, free rider or really aggressive riding uh, package. It comes in the 154 with the three inch lug, in, which is uh, the 3900 model that we're riding right here today. This one has the turbo. I believe it only comes with the turbo, but look in our links in the description of our YouTube video below because we have all the details there. And those are also posted on sledermag.com. So you guys can get all the details of all the things that I forgot or didn't get right off the top of my head. But it also comes in a 3700, I believe, which is the sea level calibration. That's a 146 inch track. So basically for the mountain guys, 154 by three inch is the only option for this. And I believe it is only offered in the turbo. And if not, I will put it on the screen right here that says, Pat, you were wrong. So yeah, super fun sled. We've been having a blast on this thing, really capable in the trees. Uh, we've been comparing it against the Expert, the Skidoo Expert, because a lot of people wanted to know how does this compare? They both have a fixed skid with no pivoting. Uh, this one has a wider ski stance. And I basically, my impression or my opinion on the matter is that the Skidoo Summit Expert uh, is a little bit more precise through the lines. And I think that has a lot to do with the 34 inch ski stance. So this thing is a lot of fun. It's rowdy. It, you can ride it as aggressively as you want. And uh, Sean's been certainly putting that to the test today. And so the guys that are looking for that sort of uh, uh, experience in the mountains, this might be the ticket.